I am Dr. Matthew Morano. Today, I'm going to be talking about Darista. It's an injectable medication for the treatment of glaucoma. I am Chief of Ophthalmology at St. Barnabas Medical Center in Livingston, New Jersey, and St. Michael's Medical Center, as well as Chief Medical Editor of Ophthalmology 360. What is Darista? It is a sustained release by Mataprose placed in the anterior chamber angle. It's essentially Lumigan as a sustained release medication. After the injection, it sits in fairly around the six o'clock position and stays there. Currently is approved for one time injection by the FDA. When do we use Darista? Darista is used for individuals who have glaucoma with an open angle. Patients can be treated with SLT or various medications. There's no real paradigm or plan on how to use Darista. But in my practice, we generally have used it in the pseudofakes predominantly. Often they've had a MIGS procedure or another glaucoma procedure and or SLT. Darista is a perfect medication to follow up with those medications on, in, for individuals who either have uncontrolled glaucoma or who are non-compliant. It is approved by Medicare and some commercial insurances. It can be injected either at the slit lamp or at the operating microscope, depending upon the surgeon's preference. Reimbursement for the medication varies by location, state by state. In our practice, we carefully explain the benefits of placing the sustained release medication in the angle of the eye to not just the patient, but quite often a family member. We often say that you'll have less dependence upon the medication as well as you're gonna get a better control of a continuous infusion of the medication in the anterior chamber. We discuss cost, compliance, and any other personal uh, problems or questions the patient may have. What technique? Our experience in our office has been that it works extremely well in the slit lamp. It can take, after a, a, a small learning curve, uh, sometimes 15 seconds to actually inject the medication, get the patient set up at the slit lamp. They're very comfortable, and you just tell them to relax. Everything's going to go very smoothly. I will have a technician hold the upper lid, as well as while I'm talking to the patient, I will give the patient Proparacaine and a betadine. A drop or wash, you can use a betadine swab, betadine swab as well if you choose. It's injected generally temporally. However, I have some patients, particularly if you're very right-handed dominant or left-handed dominant, you can do a nasal approach. Some patients are moving around a lot. Some of them are looking not straight ahead. They may not be able to see out of the other eye, so they can't really focus. So uh, sometimes I will change and just say, okay, we'll do this uh, nasally. Uh, with counter pressure, either with a Q-tip, or sometimes you can even use your finger on the under lid to uh, do counter pressure. Most patients are very satisfied with how smooth the whole procedure goes. They often thank us for doing it that very day. They're surprised. As you know, anyone that walks in to have a procedure or anyone with glaucoma is generally very terrified when they walk into the office because everyone thinks they may or and can go blind with glaucoma. Patient preparation. Uh, staff preparation, as long as the staff believes in the product and your, your procedure and your rationale, generally you'll do very, very well and the patients will be extremely happy. It biodegrades into carbon dioxide and water over a period of time. It actually looks after, it, it looks like a little log when it first comes out and you'll see like a little snowball sitting around six o'clock after about two or three months. Most patients have a second Darista in our practice about two weeks later. Uh, and I do follow them about two weeks after that or four to six weeks. Initially, I'm, I'm letting them go a little bit longer. I don't let them go three months afterwards just because I just wanna make sure that everything is fine and that the pressure is good. Uh, the eyes, uh, ocular surface disease is less uh, in these individuals who've been longer putting preservative uh, medication on the eye, which, which is involved in most in all glaucoma drops. Ultimately, these, as I said, the patients have less injection, the eyes look quieter, the patients are happier, they see better. Uh, I do a fairly large number of extended depth of focus patients or multifocal patients, and they, they're not chasing their eyes with Allrex and Restasis or Zydra and the other medications. They're much, much happier. The eyes look whiter, they look much 
more comfortable. FDA studies showed when they uh, Allergan did it, they had patients had a 32% drop in pressure with a Darissa, very similar to what you would get with a, a, a Travitan, Lumigan, or maybe not quite as well with a Latanoprost. The outcomes, as you know, glaucoma is a chronic disease. Compliance is very, very difficult for most patients. Probably 45% of the patients don't take all their medications properly. With COVID, we've had issues where patients couldn't come into the office or they couldn't get refills or some offices couldn't even be contacted because the answering services were too busy. Uh, our patients are generally very gratified with the results. There's improved quality of, of ocular surface, improved quality of vision and comfort. 27% of patients experienced some hyperemia initially. Uh, I think that's often either from the betadine or from the preparacane. But when they come back after their two week follow up, the eyes are much, much whiter. Patients are happier and they, they feel better and even their family members think they look better. 